Um, well, I am from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised. I, you know, I re relocated to different places throughout, you know, my time being in New York. But um, my main thing is I'm a New Yorker through and through. So I love New York. It's definitely the best place in the world to me. I never want to leave. I tell everybody I never want to leave. And they're like, why do you want to, why don't you ever want to leave? Because, you know, New York sometimes is a little, you know, rough around the edges and, you know, big city life and everybody's, you know, rushing to get places. But I just feel as though, like, the city makes, it's about all the people that are in the city. It's about, you know, them being interactive with each other. And even with my piece over here, it's, you know, about interacting with the people. It's about them seeing what I have to do. Yeah, I definitely do love my art and I just love doing art in general. It just is a, it's a feeling inside of me that I want to express out to the world and express to other people what I feel. No traditional studies, no going to, I've taken like two or three classes at the, uh, at the Art Students League, you know, right before Corona ended and then Corona started and um, I had to stop taking classes because, you know, Corona happened and, you know, I just went back to, you know, painting in my, my room and then I saw everything that was going on and I felt like I had to have a voice in saying something about what's going on in the world and I used my my favorite thing, my art, to express what I feel. I came out here probably like three or four weeks ago and I painted something because I seen all these wood boards up because of uh, the riots and you know everything that was going down in Soho at the time and I was already wheat pasting myself so while I was wheat pasting I saw that there was wood boards open, so, and then I started seeing people paint on them. I was like, oh, I could do this now. So I came out, I brought all my paints and everything, and I just started going at it. I just kept going at it. And um, the thing is, is that when I continued to do it, it just became more of a, more of a uh, expression to the people saying, hey, this is what I can do, and this is what I want you guys to see, and this is what I want you guys to feel when you see these these wood boards and when you see these works. Well, I see this particular moment as it's the most revolutionary moment that I've ever experienced in my life. I'm, again, my life, isn't, my, my life isn't that long, you know, it's, I'm 21 years old, but um, I very much believe that this is the most revolutionary I've seen people in my life because the thing is is that people are coming out, they're protesting, they're, they're fighting for equality and fighting to stop police brutality and fighting to stop things that have been needed to stop for hundreds of years, you know? And I feel as though the people of New York handled it in a good way later on, but in the beginning it was, it was destructive. And that's why I created these pieces because I wanted to fix the destruction that other people created. I paint with an emotion that I feel at the time. So I look into the painting and I feel something and I think about what's going on with Black Lives Matter and I think about what's going on with, with my people as a black man and what, what's going down with them and what's hurting them and what's killing them and what's doing, doing just horrible things to black people. And I wanted to express myself, not in an angry way, but I wanted to express it in a way where I could understand, where other people can understand, other people who don't see these things and don't see the, the relevance of, of it, look at the painting, they think about the painting, and they accept that things do need to change. Well, originally I chose Soho for my wheat pasting and all my other things because of the amount of artists that came out from here. You know, a lot of the artists that are, you know, well known, like Keith Haring, Basquiat, all these different names, they ended up, you know, coming from Soho. They ended up being the artists that created a revolution in the 80s 
with graffiti and these different things, and I wanted to be the one to continue that that pro, uh, that perspective. Very expensive stores. They didn't. They weren't always here. They were. They knew. They're different. They're new. They weren't always here. And in the '80s, it was it was a dirt it was dirt cheap here. People were living here for many many of years. And you know these stores are new. These stores are are outsiders coming into the Soho because they're buying the buildings from people. The people who bought the buildings bought the buildings for dirt cheap. Nobody wanted to live in Soho, and then the art world boomed in Soho. All the artists became big in Soho, so everybody wanted to move in, and you know people wanted to add their stores here. Oh, welcome to the art place, Soho. Everybody wanted to you know bring the money to Soho because of the art. And now we're getting to a point where, okay, it's more stores, but how do we keep the art, you know, that originated here and that created this place? I know for a fact that it will be stolen. They will be stolen, they will be taken, they will be thrown out, they will be collected. Some will survive, some will live, and some may die. But, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't do it for that. What I did it for was for the people to see it during these horrific times that we are living in. We're living in a pandemic with, with, a, with an amount of people dying in, a, in New York. We have this, the riots and the, the fighting and all these different things, the clash between the police and the, and the people. All of it is going on right now, and the most important thing that I wanted to do was to change somebody's feelings, somebody to make them feel like, wow, this is beautiful. Wow, this is, this is nice. Maybe this is, maybe it's not all dark. Maybe it's not all bad. Maybe there's something that can good that comes out of it.